Hello everyone, in this video we're going to look at the steps to disable the safeguard hole to allow Windows Update to download and install feature updates even when there is a compatibility issue with your hardware or software configuration. Warning: Installing a new version of Windows 10 when a known issue has been detected on your device can negatively affect your experience, and in some cases it can cause data loss. It is not recommended to follow these instructions unless you know what you're doing and understand the risks. This video tutorial is meant to help you update a spare computer to test a new feature update before deploying it to another devices or you can wait until a new version of Windows 10 arrives automatically. Before proceeding, it's recommended to create a full backup of your computer and data in case you need to roll back. I will be leaving a link with the written instructions to complete this task in the video description below. So if you want to enable the disable safeguard for feature updates policy, you will need to use the group policy editor, which is available on Windows 10 Pro and higher versions. This step will not work with Windows 10 Home. To begin, we need to open the Group Policy Editor. Then, under Computer Configuration, we're going to go to the Administrator Templates, and then we're going to open Windows Components. On Windows Update, we're going to open the Windows Update for Business section. Then double click the Disable Safeguards for Feature Updates policy. Here you want to select the Enable option. Then click Apply and click OK. Once you've done that, restart your computer. You can now go to the Windows Update Settings and then you can click the Check for Updates button and then Windows Update should ignore any compatibility issues with your device and it will download the newest feature update. In this case it's not available to me because I'm actually running the latest version of Windows available today. But if you're running behind on a feature update and it's because a safeguard hold, these steps will make that feature update available on your computer. It is also possible to bypass the safeguard hole using the Windows registry. We can come in handy if you're using the home edition of Windows 10. But here's a warning, changing the registry can damage your installation if you don't do it correctly. It is assumed that you know what you're doing and you have previously created a full backup of your computer and data in case you need to roll back. These steps are only meant to help you update a spare computer to test a feature update. So if you want to disable the safeguard hole using the registry, we actually need to open the registry and we're going to do that by opening the start and then typing registry. Then we're going to go to this path, H key local machine and then software, then policies, Microsoft, Windows, and then we're going to select Windows Update. In here we're going to right click and select new and then the word 32-bit value. Then we're going to name the key disable WUFV safeguards. They have to be exactly as shown here without any space at the end. Then once you do that double click to open the key and set its value from 0 to 1. Now restart the computer. And then you can open the settings app and then on Windows Update, you can click the check for updates button to get the latest feature update available installed on your computer. And that is all there is to it. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.